So for the next seven to ten days, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be experiencing the rain, the cold weather, and we're going to be putting these two trailers to the test. So the Orbit Adventure trailer as well as the Conqueror trailer. Mud, rain, water crossings, um, and see how they perform. So once again, we're down in Salala and our sponsors from Sandus Brad has joined us again. Uh, last time, Brad, we came down, you had a rental trailer. Yeah, that's right, from Rahul. Yeah, yep. and uh, it seems like you like the trailer and you've gone and invested in this absolute beast. So yep. tell us, what, what is it? Okay, this is the Conqueror UAV 310. Um, it's uh, a step up from the Rahal trailer, I must admit. It's got a lot more features on it in terms of uh, the, the usability of the trailer and also the off-road ability of the trailer. Uh, we've climbed a couple of serious mountains, uh, yeah, gone good. through some wet, wet weather, and the trailer's handled it without a problem. Um, so, you know, 490 kilograms dry weight, um, load half a ton on it and you've got a ton behind your truck um, but it carries everything you need and it's all compact in one you store the trailer you keep everything you want on the trailer without having to unpack it when you get home maybe a bit of cleaning here and there but you know you can hitch and go at very short notice in terms of the way the trailer is set up but that's exactly that's exactly what you're doing because you using once again i mean we discussed this in the last review and i was asking you why did you use the rental trailer because you you've got your f-150 is set up you're going it's your daily driver it's your work yeah. work machine and and you enjoy camping as much as we do so you're you're getting home and you basically want to hitch something and leave even go in in an hour or whatever pack the food pack yeah. the clothes and off you go and, yeah. and and this is giving you the ability to do it yeah for sure sean um you know the, the f-150 is nice it's got a huge amount of packing space but in order to have that ability to go quickly um, and to to camp the way we want to do with a, a, a decent tent be able to sleep well at night you know you need the trailer uh, because the packing space on the back of the truck is limited yeah yeah, no, and but oh, look, I, we've uh, we've pretty much been pretty heavy with all the wood. We had to be self-sufficient yeah. for about seven, eight seven days. days, and uh, the amount of, of of weight that we stuck into this for uh, I don't have much space in my vehicle, so we've been dumping into your vehicle yeah. as well. We've been carrying what this is supposedly 90 liters of water that's in here. We yep. took an extra 60 plus another jerry can. You were running 20 liters of fuel for your generator. generator. Um, the amount of weight that you were pulling, so the, the V8 on the F-150. No problem at all. Perfect I mean, for this guy. Overall, I think we're pulling about 1.2 tons. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, the wood uh, took up a lot of space as well. That's the issue with uh, the back of the truck is, you know, you want to go camping in a place like this where you struggle to get wood. Yeah. You need to carry it with you. So you need to plan for all of that and, you know, make sure you've got enough wood for the, for the barbecues or the braai every of night. Of course. Um, so, you know, and the cold weather. I mean, we're blessed yeah. with absolute sunshine. It's been crazy this, <laughs> this week. And, uh, but we know, we've been here before and, and you can have seven it days be of wet. just damp rain the whole time. Yeah. So. Well, you know what it was like when we arrived. It was wet, wet, wet when we yeah. arrived. So we were preparing for a wet week and yeah. we've had a couple of mornings of damp, but nothing as wet as it was last year when we were here. Now, let's, let's talk about a couple of things. Now, firstly, the the routes that we chose this time were abusive on the vehicles, yep. on the trailers, yep. and everything like that. And as you said, when we arrived here, it was muddy and 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 slippery and so on. How did how do you believe this trailer performed as far as the the very steep inclines and the very steep declines? The, the, the trailer itself tows well. Yeah. Um, it's got the hydraulic brake on it, so that helps. Yeah. Um, and this trailer runs in my tracks. So my F-150's tracks, the trailer runs in it, which makes a huge difference in terms of towing. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can see the stability yeah. um, as you're going. It, it, it seems to waddle. It waddles, but, but it doesn't bounce. But that's the suspension, yeah. so it, it, it's moving, but it doesn't it get doesn't out of your It doesn't bounce sideways, no. It which is, yeah. especially with some of the cliffs that we went past, it I mean, the drop-offs, yeah. I, think, I think the one cliff we went past was 560 meters yeah. right into the ocean. Now, I don't want to go and fetch a trailer down there. <laughs> well, if the trailer goes at 1.2 tons, trust me, you're going to be following We're it. We're going to follow it, yep. I mean, it wasn't the edge, but imagine if it was the edge and yeah. you had the trailer that was bouncing around, it would have created a bit of a nightmare for you to travel on no, that. It was, it was very stable. Um, you know, we put it through a lot of punishment, I think, this week. Yeah. Um, a lot of vibration on the trailer. And, you know, there's everyday maintenance. We had to tighten a few bolts here and there, and we lost a bolt here and there. But you know, that, that all goes with the territory. Um, you tighten it up and you fix it to, the, to what your spec is. Now, the maneuverability of the trailer, um, getting it to where you want to camp, obviously leveling the, the tent in here, we'll touch on the tent right now, but I think the, the most difficult thing is is trying to get your trailer level so that you are comfortable for the one or the two nights before you move on. Mm -hmm. And I find that when I'm driving in my vehicle and I park because my tent's on my roof, I got a feeling of where my vehicle is. Yeah. The manu maneuverability on this to try and get it into a spot. It's pretty good. I mean, you need, you need to know how to reverse a trailer on, on the truck. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's pretty easy. It's got stabilizers on it, so you can set it up and then once you level, you can, you can set it up really well. Okay. And then obviously it's got the handbrake in the front. So and when it's you, got the handbrake, so, so you, you don't can move. pull up the handbrake, yeah. put the stability. Okay. Right, let's touch on the tent, because this tent is... Amazing. Huge. <laughs> it's a double You're, bed on wheels. Well, it's I a don't king think size it's, bed on wheels. A, it, well, it's... Two meters, two by meters by two meters with a eight centimeter high density foam mattress. And we slept two adults and two children in it one night. It was a squeeze, but it was still comfortable. We all managed to sleep well. Well, this is the first time that you're really utilizing it for a long trip. Yeah. I mean, we did a short yeah, trip. Yeah, we did a on one day trip. To, just to check. Yeah. And, and from that trip, then you started doing some customization to it because right now, You've only had it for a couple of months, but you got it in summer, so we haven't yeah. been able to use it. But um, you, what, what changes have you done to it? So we've uh, put a shelf in the back. There seemed to be a bit of a dead area. So we, we added a shelf at the back of the trailer, which you okay. can see here. Yeah. Um, that allows us to pack our chairs and everything that's loose and just strap them down. Um, on the side near the fridge, we added a safari drawer where we pack all our cups and saucers and plates and okay. cutlery and stuff in as Again, well. Again, a wasted space because you've, you've got a yeah. national lunar 90, 90 liter, liter yeah, national twin, lunar, the twin, twin, twin. Birth, yeah. and, and above that uses. So yeah, nice waste, drawer waste in space. there for cutlery and it, so on. Uh, it just relieves you of all that space that you're carrying on the truck. Yeah. So two, two of these ammo boxes fit into that, uh, that, that, that safari drawer, which just makes it easier to get to things when you're cooking or preparing food or making yeah. uh, a meal. And then um, 
from here, you're going to be doing a couple of more cuts. Oh, but actually, you've added an additional battery as well, didn't you? We've added a battery. So this battery, this tra trailer comes with a 100 amp hour battery, and I've added an extra 110 amp, amp hour battery. So the two batteries gives us two, probably two good days of uh, usage on the two uh, fridges that we well, run. Especially if we've got no sunlight, because we can't yeah. put the solar panels out. And we that's struggle. The battle. Yeah. The, we've been struggling with the overcast except overcast for today we, we're yeah. filming this and it's bright blue bright, sky and everybody's saying where, where are you, yeah. you know? but um the solar panels have been struggling everything's been struggling yeah. so having that additional battery power is great and then but you just plug it straight in anderson plug into the anderson vehicle plug into the vehicle and the it vehicle, charges yeah and it charges or it you run the generator because you've got enough space you can yeah we got the generator in. yeah but i mean for a short two or three day camp we don't we won't take the generator no. we'll just use the solar panels yes um, the one thing I will say, Sean, with, uh, with regards to the, management, the power management system on the trailer, it has its quirks. Yeah. Um, for the last couple of days, I've really been handling it well. Yeah. But today, for some reason, that system just keeps draining my batteries. And that's the C-Tech? It's the C-Tech um, 2000, I think it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I need to understand it more. I need to yeah. open the system up and see. Maybe there's a short somewhere. Maybe yeah. there's a cable that's come out. That's right, because we're not getting 220 volts right now. So the no. inverter, for some reason, although we flick it on, and, yeah. I, and I love the, the setup, the way it's set up with the yeah. panel. Yeah, it's and, really good. And you've got all your, your, your switches Switch. to switch on and yeah. so on and so forth. Um, but we're not getting any power. Yeah, we so just today to seems to be really struggling to keep the, uh, the batteries charged. Well, if anybody's been doing what we do in Overland and so on, we know that you, you enjoy your evenings and, and it's a great <laughs> evening, but during the daytime while the kids are swimming in the ocean or doing something, it's you maintenance. spend time maintenance. Yeah, right? it's maintenance. And yeah. whenever you buy something new, you've got nothing else to you do. You've got so to potter. We, yeah, we, exactly, exactly. And that's part of the fun, you know, yeah, fixing absolutely. something, installing something. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we touched on the water. It's 90, 90 litre water tank, yep. give or take. We've had a bit of issues with that because yeah. It's, it's gravity feed right now and we're not getting the water to come out. It's not flowing. Uh, the, the, it's either an airlock that's causing a problem or the way the tank is designed, it's not allowing the free flow of water. Yeah. So, you know, I would say as an upgrade on this, uh, Conquer could add a pump onto the, onto the tank. And they're cheap. I mean, yeah, you, they're get cheap. The, you get the pumps, uh, 12 volt, low, flow, 12 low flows, pump. yeah. And I'm going to put a pump on yeah. um, and I'm going to put some attachments on it. So I've got water all around the trailer yes but uh, definitely a, a bit of a, a bit of a bugbear yeah. um, you know you want to open the tap and have water and I it, it flows it very slow. 30 liters left yeah. in the tank and we're opening and it wasn't and it's, flowing it's, and, it was I mean, empty. and it's the lowest point so yeah. that'll so be a good addition it, I think it's something that Conqueror could look at but definitely uh, it's an easy fix in yeah. terms of a mod yourself to add a pump yeah yeah and so I mean this is this is basically double the price of the Rahal trailer that you had before. Yes. And the investment to go from 18K to 35, 36K, pretty much give or take on Durham's, um, worth it? Yeah, Sean, I definitely think it's worth it. I think the side tent with a privacy tent on the side. Yeah, versus um, the standard rooftop tent. Versus the standard rooftop tent gives you a lot more flexibility. Yeah. Um, and on that first day when we arrived and it was so wet, yes. now that tent was dry. Yeah. Now it, was a, it was an area you could go and, and get yourself sorted. Yeah. Um, the quality and the build of the trailer, the, the brakes, um, and the fact that the trailer runs in my track, yeah. Uh, makes up for, for that difference yeah. and the ruggedness. You know, you're not constantly worrying about something you know, that can't handle the steep inclines or declines that we've been doing. Right, so awning is something that does not come with this. No. It comes with a standard awning, which I don't think would have, would have handled this wind whatsoever. But definitely not the wind, yeah. Um, so you bought this and it, and it had the fox wing on it. Um, You've got enough shade. It's it's, it's great fantastic. Shade. Yep. It's a great awning. It's a, it's an great ideal awning. awning for this type of trailer for yeah. somebody who, who wants to invest in about two thousand dirhams yeah. to get a nice two seventy degree awning. It comes around the back. It covers the front uh, or the one side. Um, I would personally want a bigger awning, yeah. uh, something that covers more of the the trailer to give more coverage. You, you travel with an additional gazebo as well. So Sometimes, yeah, yeah so we, we have the gazebo for, long, for shade. For long, for long trips, because yeah. as the sun moves, it's, it's, 
it is easy enough to move the trailer around. You can tow it around, but yeah. you don't want to be moving it all the time. So it's, no. it's good to have that additional. Yeah, but the awning is great. Um, you know, with the rain and the wetness, it just uh, it gives it keeps it dry. Yeah, yeah. it was really good. So, uh, Brad, we uh, not only have we abused these trucks going up and down rocky roads. <laughs> it's, yep. it's been it's been uh, extreme I adventure. I think we put these trailers to the test, but yeah. we had a river crossing that was oh, that was awesome. Pretty, pretty deep. <laughs> that right? was fun. Now yeah. the trailer that I'm pulling, the Orbit Adventure trailer, the nose cone got drenched completely. But then again, the whole trailer was basically under the water. Yeah. How did you fare here? What? Uh, how was your? It rained really well. Yeah. Um, a little bit of water in the trailer. My yeah. nose cone, where the battery, the battery and everything was, was bone dry. Yeah. Uh, no issues there. A little bit of water in the actual trailer itself, but um, nothing that caused a problem. Yeah. So, I mean, when you close this thing up and you lock it, it is well sealed. Yeah. Uh, we, we didn't even Test, have a problem. We tested the dust proofing yeah, before. Dust proofing was, is, dust proof, was, no was great. Yeah. Um, so the waterproof is waterproofing is good. At, uh, I, at I think we went well. a little further than the wading depth that um, Conqueror probably, probably says that you're allowed to go yeah. in with this. So probably, but that's <laughs> but it, you know that that's the beauty of owning the trailer and putting it, taking yeah. it beyond its limit. Yeah. Because you know now, next time it's yeah. not a case of can I do it. It's a case of let's go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So and it's and understanding we're talking, your equipment. We're talking about dampness. We're not talking yeah. about water. We were no. talking about a little bit of water came in. Yeah. So we're talking about a, a two, took three a, mils. Yeah, it took a little bit of roller towel and we dried it. Yeah. We didn't have to pump water out of the trailer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was great. All right. Well, Brad, once again, it's been an awesome trip. Thanks, Sean. And been great fun. Love the trailer, and I can't yeah. can't wait to have more of these trips with with this beast. Yeah. Um, it's an absolute pleasure to, to, to go out and he's got more space so I can use his stuff <laughs> instead of carrying it all in my truck. So <laughs> it's been great.